This week, radio host Colin Cowherd uh, ranked the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks in the National Football League. And we, I don't know, just stole the idea. We're not original. Never claim to be. It's fine. Uh, I also have a feeling my rankings is just going to be yeah, just a little bit different. Uh, so here are the, oh, enhance. Here are the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks by average. You got Mahomes at one. Dak suddenly sliding in at two at $40 million per year. Deshaun at three. Russ, well, Deshaun with the Texans and Russ with the Seahawks for now. We'll see. Air, the Octogerian Aaron Rodgers with the Packers. But he's uh, he, he's been uh, looking for some uh, extra money. So he might get a raise and move up these rankings as well. But probably not the actual rankings ranking. Mm. Jared Goof is on there for some reason. Kirk Cousins, that $33 million average on that extension and that the remnants of the $84 million deal. Yeah. Ain't so bad anymore. Uh, and then also you have Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, and Ryan Tannehill. You notice how Tom Brady is not in the top 10. Because he gets it. He gets it. And Well, his wife makes $80 million a year being a mom. And? Like, like, all these quarterbacks don't have a ton of money. Just, like, laying around. Just take it a little bit less so you can get, I don't know, an offensive line in front of you. Hint, hint, Kirk Cousins. Hmm. So, we're going to do our rankings 1 through 10. Let's get this damn thing going. So, at number 10... This is not going to be a shocker. So, Jared Goof, uh, this might be the worst contract in NFL history next to who's at number nine. Uh, but the 2016 number one overall pick uh, really propped up by Sean McVay and was just a part in an assembly line. Like, uh, name the last throw that Jared Goff made. We were like, ooh, or the last game that Jared Goff actually won. Last year, 20 touchdowns, 13 picks, tw- uh, uh, 21st in the NFL in quarterback rating at 90.0, was benched. Bench, let's call it what it is. Like, oh, your, your team captain, your highly paid quarterback. Oh, yeah, he's uh, healthy enough to be the backup, but we're going to start AAF legend John Wolford. That is a benching, if there ever was one. Uh, th- and also, the Rams gave up on him after giving him that monster deal. Plus, they gave up more draft capital than Matthew Stafford was worth just to get rid of the contract. Just so they didn't have to cut him and eat all the dead caps. So they moved him to Detroit. He's not going to be the future of the Lions. Oh, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Nailed it. Woo. I, I'm actually glad that happened. There we go. So, yeah, uh, Jared Goff is clocking in at 10. If I could rank him lower, I, actually, no, I'm going to. Why the hell not? 11, 10 will be vacant. Enhance. There we go. Jared Goff is 11 out of the top 10. That's what we're doing. Next up, uh, number nine, yes. Carson Wentz of the Colts. We, we got that one correct. $32 million per year. Uh, completing... The top two of the 2016 busts. Bust. Number two overall coming out of NDSU by the Eagles. And he is slightly higher than Jared Goff because that he actually showed that he had some grapes in 2017 where he was playing at an MVP level before he tore his ACL. Uh, was second team all pro that season. But, I mean, this year just completely imploded with the Eagles. I mean, the Eagles didn't do him any favors. The offensive line was in shambles. Offensive uh, wide receivers were just whatever as well. Pass on Justin Jefferson. We thank you. Uh, 15 touchdowns, or excuse me, 15 interceptions, uh, 72.8 quarterback rating, 28th in the league. And he pouted, he whined, he forced his way out of town after they turned to Jalen Hurts. Uh, maybe Frank Reich, uh, his guy from way back uh, in Philly, the new uh, the head coach of the Colts, maybe they can revive his career. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, next up, so a little bit surprising how low he is, but Ryan Tannekill. Uh, well, formerly the artist formerly known as Ryan Tannehill, but Tannehill uh, and the Titans, $29.5 million per year. Now, Tannehill would be higher if Arthur Smith was still in Tennessee, but since he's moving on, ah, he was the one who really uh, revived his career in Nashville, a former number eight overall pick in 2012, and was largely seen as a bust uh, with the Dolphins, even though he signed a second contract with them. Uh, came to Tennessee, was a backup to Mariota, eventually took over. 90.3 PFF grade, uh, was tied for six in the NFL in 2020, 33 touchdowns, seven interceptions, also led the league in passer rating 2019, was actually had the third highest uh, in NFL history, but it's sneaky old. He turns 33 in July, and even though the Titans are having a nice run right now with Mike Rabel, and you do like the weapons, Derrick Henry, A.J. Brown, they're probably going to lose Corey Davis, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it seems like he should be higher, but is what it is. Next up, number seven on our top 10 highest paid quarterback, ranking the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks. It's weird wording, but it's whatever. Number seven, 
Matt Ryan. Now, he would have been higher a couple years ago, but definitely getting long in the tooth, 36 years young, uh, 4,581 yards passing last year on a very abysmal, poopy Falcons team, who the Vikings lost to. Oh, the Vikings got their asses kicked by the Falcons. Let, let's not kid ourselves. But he gets Arthur Smith now. Uh, but it feels like Ryan will always have that stank of 28-3 on him, even though that's certainly not his fault. Like, if you're a quarterback and it's late in the third quarter, and you think uh, that a 25-point lead should be pretty safe, but that. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, it definitely wasn't all on him. Uh, I think that he does have a couple of, of decent years left in him, but he certainly was not the Matt Ryan uh, who was all pro in, in the MVP talks a couple years ago. Number six, Dak Prescott. Ooh, second highest pick quarterback in the league, uh, clocking in at six in our top 10. The $40 million a year man was playing at a high level last year, respect, uh, before that gruesome ankle injury. 1,856 yards passing, nine touchdowns, a 99.6 quarterback rating. I uh, only hesitate because you look at what has been around Dak. He's had a great offensive line for years. You look at Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, Lyle Collins, uh, and great weapons for years as well. They might have the best wide receiver trio in the NFL with uh, Amari, uh, CD, as well as Michael Gallup. Uh, and also you have Zeke behind you. But what does he have to show for it? Not a lot. Nada. Right. So can he be a great quarterback now that he's gotten paid, got the big contract? Can he take that next step? Can he level up? Can he lead the Cowboys to the uh, to the NFC title game? Can he lead them to a Super Bowl? Or is he just going to be a great stat surfing quarterback who's had great protection and great weapons around him? Hmm? It's, a, it's a logical question. Five. Let's get nuts. Five. The octogenarian Aaron Rodgers. Woo. Yeah, I said it. So now uh, I can already hear the. Durr, durr, durr. You've lost all credibility. You've lost my respect. I don't care. <laughs> no one cares. Never had any credibility to begin with. I'm wearing a cutoff A Real Monsters uh, shirt, tank top, whatever. Plus, who cares about your respect? Yeah. Uh, but a Ro Rogers allegedly, allegedly was NFL MVP in 2020. Congratulations for being the best player in a pandemic year. Great. Uh, led the NFL with a 94.5 PFF grade. Again, that's just like... Your opinion, man. But couldn't get done in the playoffs again. Uh, the Rams, by the way, the, the path to the Super Bowl was just paved with, with yellow bricks and gold bricks and all that stuff. I mean, it, it was set up for Aaron Rodgers. Like, it was supposed to be a storybook ending. The Rams surrendered because they had Jared Goof starting as opposed to the legend John Wolford. Plus, Aaron Donald was dinged up at the rib and it was just a shell of himself. Plus, you had a home playoff game against the 90-year-old Tom Brady and the 80-year-old Aaron Rodgers. Couldn't get it done. Huh? 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 Plus, he, he's uh, he's uh, capping for a raise. He's probably going to get it. Uh, but then he's going to uh, piss and moan when he doesn't get wide receiver help, either in free agency or the draft, because they have other needs, because they have to cut, dude. So, whoo! It's okay. That's why he's five. Again, it's our rankings. Number four. <laughs> Kirky Cousins, yeah. Kirkywa, Jerome, Ezekiel, Cousins, clocking in, $33 million per year. Now, it, it's crazy how I've become a Kirk defender just by calling balls and strikes. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but Clint Kubiak, quarterback coach for the last two years. Kirk's played some of the best ball of his career. Now he uh, is elevated to offensive coordinator. Plus, he got Dalvin and Justin Friggin Jefferson and Adam Thielen. And you're improving the offensive line. Hmm. Uh, $33 million per year now. Seems like a bargain, even though it's not really. Uh, plus, he still has a $45 million cap hit in 2022, which is the highest in the National Football League. But uh, after the bye last season, 24 touchdowns, three picks, 113.6 uh, quarterback rating, third in the NFL. And yes, he was probably the worst quarterback in the league. Well, him and Carson Wentz were in a running gun battle to who was going to be the first, uh, the worst quarterback in the league the first six weeks, uh, first six weeks of the season. Nailed it. Mm. But the Vikings can win a Super Bowl with Kirk Cousins, with the weapons. I, if Kirk Cousins had the situation that Dak had in Dallas, the Cowboys would win the Super Bowl. How crazy is that to say? Just, like, putting that on the table. Mm. Next up, number three. Ooh. Deleted Kirk. Maybe that's uh, just uh, a Freudian slip there. Uh, three. Watson, Texans, uh, for now, $39 million per year. Now, he, he's not going to be on the Texans for long. Is it going to be Deshaun and the Jets, Deshaun and the Dolphins? Uh, those make sense. Uh, consistently under pressure last year, sacked 49 times, second most in the National Football League. B.O.B. gave away Nuke, his wide receiver one, for a running back. 
a running back. Uh, but still on this terrible team, he posted a 112.4 quarterback rating, threw for 40, 123 yards, uh, 33 touchdowns, seven picks, led the NFL with 8.9 yards per attempt. So he wasn't dinking and ducking. No, he was chucking it downfield to nobody's. Second in the NFL with a 92.5 uh, PFF grade as well. Kid is a winner. Look at him in college and now just put him in a better situation. And all of a sudden, oh, contenders that's why a team should spend the picks and get deshaun watson next up number two in our ranking the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks there you go i think we know that number two russell wilson russ 35 million per year one and a half time super bowl champion uh russ has covered for the seahawks for years they've had an atrocious offensive line and frankly john schneider he gets a lot of clout for being this wizard of of general managers but the Seahawks minus Russ is a bottom five roster in the league, and that's just the truth. It, it is. And I, I think the game has passed Pete by. He turned 70 pretty soon. So, yeah, the only thing standing between just mediocrity and the abyss for Seattle is Russ. I mean, with Russ, he is the definition of a franchise caliber quarterback where he can raise up an atrocious roster and carry it forward. That's what separates guys from uh, like Russ and Dak. I don't know if Dak could do what Russ has been doing with Seattle, but if you put Russ on the Cowboys, that's 10 million Super Bowls, but that's not going to happen anymore. But if you put Russ on the Raiders, they all, all of a sudden turn into an AFC contender. If you put Russ on the Bears, they turn into a wild card contender. So I don't know. The Seahawks would be stupid to get rid of Russ, build around him, and he is going to be your guy. But man, if he ends up somewhere else, it's crazy. Crazy talk. Lastly, number one quarterback, ish, Patrick Mahomes, quarterback of the Chiefs, $45 million per year on that insane 10 million, uh, 10 year uh, contract. Still the best young quarterback in the league, 2018 MVP, 2019 Super Bowl champion, and Super Bowl MVP. Uh, uh, appeared in the Super Bowls uh, first two of his three seasons as a starter. But you're starting to see the crunch of his contract. The Chiefs just punted on starting tackles Eric Fisher and Mitchell Schwartz, and that matters. I mean, just look at the Super Bowl. That does matter. And you saw how Patrick Mahomes, not even the grand poobah of the, the Wizards of quarterbacks, how he can't operate without protection. They, the Chiefs did not score a touchdown in the Super Bowl against the Bucks. How insane is that? Pretty insane. Like, you can have all the weapons in the world, the Tyreek Hills, the Travis Kelseys, but if you can't be protected, if you don't have time to throw, that's what it gets you. Mm, so they may have to rethink things. Although that that uh, extension gets pretty palatable down the line, especially as the salary cap continues to rise for the next 10 years. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, ranking the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks. I'm sure there's a couple controversial. I ain't lost my respect. Don't care. Do not care at all. Uh, what are your thoughts and our thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. We'll support that work. Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.